Hi there, this is Paul and uh, thanks for stopping by and watching another of my videos. Uh, this video is really a follow-up to a video I created a couple of months ago which has had quite a few views um, which is uh, a tutorial on how you can use Power Apps to take photos and then store those photos in SQL Server or as your SQL DB uh, and then display those images again in say a, a, a gallery control and when I was doing that previously I was um, using uh, an image field to store the image data so a photo is an image it, it, it sort of makes sense to do it that way uh, but I've just been experimenting with storing it in a varchar max field instead so I got this idea from another video so credit where it's due I'll, uh, I'll pop a link to that uh, other video in the in the description uh, and in that video um, the presenter was looking at ways of uh, storing the photo data in a SharePoint list uh, and, and using text uh, as the field type for that. So that's where I sort of got the idea uh, uh, and I've never been entirely happy with the performance of Power Apps and Azure SQL DB for taking photos and displaying photos. Uh, there's definitely a few little issues under the surface there so I, uh, I thought it would be an interesting experiment first to see does it work to store the image data in a varchar max field and if it does work is it quicker uh, and to um, spoil the end of the video yes it is quicker massively quicker really really tremendous difference night and day difference so let's demonstrate that to you now uh, I've already got a, a form set up because I want this to be a fairly quick video um, just to talk about the differences between using uh, varchar max and image rather than going through um, you know all the concepts involved um, but just to uh, fill in a few of the little blanks for you Obviously I've got my camera control on here already. You may be aware that when you click on a camera control then the photo is taken and the photo is stored in a property of the camera control called the photo property. So we can display that. I'm just going to stick a, a quick image control on the screen here uh, and I'm going to set the image property to the name of my camera control which is camera one and then I'm going to show you that photo property and there you can see the image so if I take another image now so I'm gonna make myself wave this time and I'm going to click here and you can see this is updated so the the photo property of the camera control is the image that was taken the last time you clicked on it or tapped on it if you're on a mobile device now you probably already knew that but did you also know this if you get a label control so this is a standard text label control you can also set its property in this case it's the display uh, sorry the text property rather than the um, image property but we can do this camera one dot photo again so exactly the same in terms of what the source of the information is and here we can see the the underlying um, digital data, if you like, uh, which is the representation of the photo. Now, um, what I'm going to do next is I am going to have a go at uploading this information into Azure SQL DB, and I'm going to load it once into an image field and once into a varchar max field. So photo as image, image field, photo as text, varchar max field. And I've got my gallery on the right hand side here configured to show me uh, what is in that table which has got the, um, the two photo fields in it, the varchar max version and the image version and within that gallery uh, in this column I'm showing the photo as text, that's the varchar max based one and photo as image, that's the image field based one. So once I start uploading photos they're going to start appearing in this gallery on the right hand side. So let's do that now, I'll do the upload photo. Uh, so upload photo is using the patch command to upload the photo so it's just saying look patch them to this particular uh, table 
the defaults command make sure that uh, what we're doing is we're appending, we're adding rather than uh, modifying an existing record. So each time I click this button, the photo is going to be added to the uh, to the table. And then here you can see that I'm setting the photo as image field to camera one dot photo and the camera as text field also to camera one dot photo. I don't need to do anything different at all. Um, so let's go into the player mode and we'll hit the upload photo button. Uh, we'll take a few photos so what I'll do is I'll just hold a finger up each time and we'll do upload photo and now watch as these start to populate. Look at the difference. Quite a big difference there. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take another four photos one after another uh, as quickly as I can um, and then see how this gallery on the right hand side is performing and then when we've done that we'll do a, a refresh uh, to simulate loading in all of the information from scratch. So what we're looking at here is the performance and seeing how much better Varchar Max is than Image. So here we go. Okay, so there's me loading in my photos and look at the performance differences here. So the image one took much, much, much longer to bring those images in and it also behaves a little bit strangely as well so they don't necessarily appear in order. So we'll probably see that when we hit the, the refresh button as well. Um, so here we are, we're going to refresh the whole gallery. So there we are, and the Varchar Max is already in. The image one is still processing, and it's still processing. So I think they will eventually come, there we are, but they take much, much longer to appear. Uh, and the, um, you know, the marching dots that, that indicate that there's communication going on with, um, with your data source had long since stopped. So my guess, it's only a guess at this point, is that it's to do with the rendering. When we are rendering based on the Varchar Max column, converting that Varchar Max information into an image, Power Apps is much happier and much faster at doing that than it is taking the image uh, field data and converting that into uh, the photo or rendering that as a photo. So very strange, um, I think, but performance difference is huge. So I wanted to um, record this video quickly and get it out there and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, put a link to this new video on my existing video um, encouraging people to, uh, to have a quick look at this to see that um, they should change their uh, SQL Server or Azure SQL DB data types to Varchar Max and not use image anymore. Varchar Max seems to work way, way better. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have a moment, please leave a comment below. I hope you found this uh, useful or interesting. Um, if you did, let me know you did. If you didn't, let me know that you didn't and let me know why. And if you've got ideas for anything else that you would like me to cover or questions related to this, then uh, pop them in the comments. Um, I try to respond to all of the comments. I don't, I don't always get to it, but I do definitely read all of the comments. So uh, please take a moment to do that. And I'm going to try and do some, uh, some more videos in the coming days and weeks. So uh, do hit that subscribe button so that you know when, uh, when I've uploaded some new content. Fantastic. Thanks for watching and have a great day.